So this is going to be a video you'll want to watch if you've been struggling with attribution since iOS 14's launched last year. As a marketing agency owner, I've tried literally all solutions so you wouldn't have to. I wanted to find the best way to track our e-commerce brand's result to ensure accurate reporting on both ends. This is when I came across TripleWell, a new and upcoming software company specializing in e-commerce reporting. They refer to their platform as the Ecom OS, so a tool that centralizes everything regarding your Shopify store. In this week's video, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to use and set up Triple Well for your Shopify store and sharing my honest opinion after over a month of using that platform for our clients. My name is Justin and I'm the founder of Wizzle Media, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, as well as turn on post notifications to be one of the first to know about these cutting edge e-commerce marketing tips post on the channel every week. So if you end up going on the Triple Well website, it's pretty much what you're gonna see right here. So I'm just gonna do a small sort of walkthrough of the overall slide that they have going on, you know, explain a little bit how this works before I walk you through a live account of one of our clients. So Triple Well offers many different ad platforms at the moment. So you can basically track Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, TikTok ads. I think also you can track Snapchat if I'm not mistaken. So we'll get into that in a second. And you can also do Klaviyo. It also works with other avenues like we have postscript tracking as an example for one of our clients that does postscript for sms so all that to say that all of your platforms are within the same space so would you be using it there's basically two ways for you to use a platform and as you can see here at the top there basically is uh two things there's their dashboard and their pixel dashboard as a whole is great i recommend their dashboard for literally every brand whatever point you are in your journey would you be just starting out or would you be very advanced their dashboard is great because every single tools that you're using again would be just shopify because if you you would be using it just for shopify reporting it's this good like you have literally all of your metrics shown within that would it be for cost of goods to orders like everything is very well laid out the ui and ux is just great with triple well so it's great for shopify reporting overall but also if you're using any other apps and if you're using any other apps like facebook or google then this is where i recommend you use their triple well pixel that's mainly what I'm going to focus on today. It's their pixel because this is what they use to provide accurate attribution with platforms again, like Facebook, Google, TikTok, Pinterest. So here we go. This is a client's account. This is a dashboard. Like when you sign up to triple well, this is what you see to sign up. Actually, you just want to go back to the website that I showed you earlier, click get started. And then from there, essentially you, you pick the right plan for you. If you go to pricing actually right now, it's basically a hundred dollar a month if you're just using the dashboard and it's 300 a month if you're using the dashboard and the pixel. And that's if you're making less than a million dollar a year in rev. If you're making more than that, then the pricing goes up because there's more conversions events, you know, tracking to set up on their end. So this said essentially for that client right there, this is what we see. So you can basically customize this summary page here at the top. This is your dashboard. You can customize that. You can do whatever you want with it. You can basically have different uh, stats shown here. We left it at the default view right there. So basically what we see is the overall row asset across all platforms and channels for today. So today so far, you know, as of 10 a.m. is 2.03 for that client. Um, and then what you can also do is refresh that data. But here at the top, uh, actually, you can pick the right currency for you. So that client is in US, but it's also very great because for anybody international, you know, we have clients in uh, Canadian dollars, we have uh, clients in euros, in pounds, in US. So it's very good for us to be able to pivot between these different currencies. So at any point, you can refresh the data at the top, right? So as you can see right now, ROAS dropped since I refreshed it. So I hadn't refreshed it in a couple of minutes. As we can see, it's probably been more ad spends, less conversions since the last time that it was refreshed. So where I want to bring your attention now is the pixel. It's the attribution part of things. This is where things are actually uh, being you know, reported. This is where you see the most accurate reporting. So as you can see right now, there's a little uh, word from their dev team. Apparently they have a little bug on going at the time of recording this video, but nonetheless, let me show you a little bit how this works. So right now, what you can see is all the campaigns that are currently running today you're going to see them appearing here on the left. So this is all only for Facebook because for that client, we're only running Facebook at this moment. So here you see Facebook campaigns, the Facebook spend, you know, Facebook ROAS. Then this is the Google Analytics ROAS. And this is anything that has this little logo right there is the triple well stats. 
So to give you an example, looking at this top campaign here, it's zero across the board. You know, there's, there's apparently no conversions across any channels. Looking at the second one right there, that's where you can see some uh, difference, you know, being attributed. There's 5.4 ROAS on Facebook, nothing reported on Google Analytics and Triple Well says there's nothing. And then looking at that third campaign right there, it says zero on Facebook, but uh, Google Analytics actually says 2.2. And funny enough, Triple Well says 4.3. So that's where you can see a big discrepancy in data. And then the last one right there says 3.2 on Facebook. 2.02 on, um, on on Google Analytics and same thing as Google Analytics is being matched with Triple Well 2.02 in this case. So now I'm gonna pick a wider time frame. I'm gonna go seven days because this is where we're gonna be able to see some more data shown right there. So when it comes to the last seven days, this is really where you can start seeing the discrepancy in data. This is where you can actually start seeing how the data changes a lot from Facebook to Google Analytics to what Triple Well reports. So I'm gonna preface this by saying that at this point, it's been about three weeks since we installed that Triple Well pixel on for that client. And Triple Well is currently telling us that it takes a little over a month for it to start being accurate for your brand. So in the meantime, we can use the reporting tools, we can use a lot of things on Triple Well to help us with that data, but we cannot simply look at the ROAS uh, reported back on Triple Well because it's not yet 100% accurate. We know that because especially for the campaigns that we're running right now, we're actually using discount codes. So if people use that offer, we can very, you know, very easily see that, see that reported in the purchases. And when we see that reported in the purchases, we've seen more than one purchase where the discount code was actually applied on that purchase, but that purchase was never reported back to Facebook because the beauty with Triple is that any of these orders here that you see to the left, you can actually click on the ROAS and then it'll show you all of the conversions that are showing up on Shopify. And basically you can click on the customer name and see the detail, you know, of all the order, all of their customer journey, how they went essentially through that, how they came actually to purchase from there. So basically all of that to say that from that point, um, we have to take a look, we have to take into, into consideration that Triple is not 100% accurate yet but it's damn good for a lot of things. Apart from just pixel and attribution, this is one of the new feature, it's called customer journey. That just launched last week at the time of recording this video. You can see basically from your customers, so right now I'm doing the last seven days again, you can see the customer journey from basically the initial touch point all the way to the last touch point, which is always gonna be purchased um, as you can see right there. So if we click on Facebook, you can see that the journey was uh, very honestly uh, laid out in, in different steps. Like as we can see right here, some people went from Facebook as the first touch point straight to purchase, but some people went from Facebook to Klaviyo and then from Klaviyo to another Klaviyo email and from Klaviyo to purchase, but others went to Klaviyo to a fourth Klaviyo email and even to a fifth Klaviyo email before purchasing. So we can basically see that people are taking very different routes before they end up purchasing. Facebook is one of our primary driving force when it comes to revenue, but for that client, as you can see, it can also track Klaviyo and Postscript, which they use to send emails and SMS. Now, another great place to be is the Create a Dashboard. It shows you some of your best performing ads as the moment, shows you the stats on these ads, and it does that for creative specifically. Or actually, it does that for all ads, and then you could go just straight for images, so what these images you know, actually represent, you know, what type of products that is, then you can go straight for copy. You know, what copy is the actual best at the moment? Then you can do image and copy and then video and copy. So it's great for creative analysis. So that, again, overall, it's a tool that we love to see, that we love to use. That create a dashboard is just great overall. It makes it very easy. As you know, if you're a Facebook marketer, if you've used Facebook for advertising, the breakdown features don't work anymore, or at least for most ad accounts uh, that we have, they just don't work. For some, sometimes for a certain period of time, we'll be able to have a breakdown based on copy if we're using dynamic copy, but for most, we can't. Whereas this right here will output, you know, what is the best performing copy, what is the best performing images, so you can always test out these variations and see which one works the best. And not only that, you can actually change your attribution model. You can go last or first click, or you could go with triple well attribution, which we usually use for these creatives. And this is where it gets very interesting. Under the customer insights tab, you have so many different insights that you can get for your store. And that's why I'm saying a lot of that, like all of that besides 
basically anything that is within the pixel is not going to be available to you. So the pixel and attribution thing are not going to be available to you if you're not using their plan at starting at 300 a month that you need their pixel, but everything else, you know, the creative dashboard, the customer insights, all of that you can actually use if you're not on that plan. So as you can go back here, you can see basically everything is available on that first plan. So AOVs, you know, and as you can see, the only thing that is not is attribution, but you can still integrate that with Facebook. You can still, it'll just be a dashboard for you to report whatever, you know, Facebook would be reporting in a bit of a different layout as well as show you everything else that you can get. Like the creative dashboard works, cohorts, sales cycle. And that is great because that's what I'm showing you right here on screen. It shows you a much better evolution of all of these metrics than you would usually see on Shopify. Um, they have a UTM builder tool that allows you to build, you know, UTM parameters directly within that. And then you can just copy and paste that into your platforms. So basically what we have right there, that, that's it for Facebook. Same thing for Google, TikTok, you know, Snapchat, Pinterest, Klaviyo. And it, it's as simple as that, you know, they just already output the, the UTMs that you need. So you can copy and paste that within the platform directly. Reports is great for the store overall. Some reports for us as a uh, as an agency or for that client as an e-commerce brand we could have a report and you click basically on add report you pick all of the metrics you want in that report and there's many ways for you to deliver that so as you can see it's either going to be by email and you can choose who gets it by email you can choose the frequency and you can do it by slack so you can send that automatically through slack so that way every let's say every monday you can send your clients a report on slack if you're an e-commerce brand, then simply every day you can get a report delivered in your email. So that way, you know, you wake up in the morning, you already have a bit of a rundown of how your store went overnight as an example. So super great tool for reporting overall. It's also great, you know, here we have goals. We didn't have any goals for that, but what you can do is you select a metric. It could be sales, it could be ROAS, it could be simply for Facebook ads. And then you select where you're at right now, where you wanna to get to, and then it'll help you sort of track your goals at the moment. Trends allows you to spot these trends across, you know, blended ROAS as an example, or across Facebook. Obviously, well, if we look at today overall, well, ROAS and everything is dropping because the day just got started. There's basically, you know, nothing that is being reported out of that. So obviously everything is sort of going down as we speak, but you can sort of see that, hey, you know, with Facebook, we're pretty much maintaining ourselves, you know, in the past uh, seven days or so, in the past 14 days, I should say, it's, it's pretty much well maintained. CPMs, all right, we're seeing an increase in CPMs, you know, over the past week. Um, Shopify AOV is an example, we can also track that and see, all right, Shopify AOV seems to be increasing also slowly but surely. Click-through rate, same thing, we're noticing an increase in click-through rate on Facebook, good, we actually changed the creatives last week, so it means that our new creatives are working much better. So that to say that, again, trends are great for you to spot whatever's working well with your store. So with channels, as you can see here on the bottom left, you're gonna be able to uh, integrate all of the channels that you actually use. So this is the complete list of channels that are supported right now by Triplewell. I know they're working on, on adding additional platforms, but at, the, at this very moment, you can integrate Facebook, Google Analytics, Klaviyo, Attentive, TikTok, Snapchat, and Pinterest. It's pretty much all the platforms that are being supported with Klaviyo natively. So meaning that there's an actual integration that is supported with this platform. You saw earlier that Postscript is still showing up in our reports. Postscript is not on the list, but it still shows up as a channel. It can still track up to a certain point, you know, with Triple Well. So that's basically a bit of a walkthrough and tutorial on how you, you use the app. What can you actually do with this and how you can actually benefit from using triple well. And now comes my review. For the review, let me go back actually to the pixel and the attribution side of things. What I'm gonna say is, I'm gonna probably repeat myself from something I've said earlier, but we, what we want with this and what I recommend everyone to do is to hop on their cheaper plan. Like the $100 a month plan is great because it gives you just a very neat dashboard for you to report to, again, would it be your clients or for your own store? It's a great way to have everything in one place. Like if you're a small brand, chances are you're probably doing emails because again, emails are very, I mean, they don't cost you anything to do. So if you're using emails, then you may be tracking on MailChimp or on Klaviyo directly. And then it becomes very hard for you to keep track of everything because you have like three, four or five different platforms to check. It just combines everything out here. So every platform or app you may be using will be combined into triple well dashboard. So that is just great for that. And for creative testing or everything you may be doing in terms of ads also is very great to see on triple well. Now in terms of things that I think need to be worked on a little bit with the brand is still the accuracy of reporting. So at this very moment, um, I, again, they say it takes about a month and a week for it to report. 
we're seeing in the past five days or so that reports are becoming very great, like they're becoming increasingly better on the platform. But again, as you can see right here, look at what's being reported back from Facebook versus Google Analytics versus Triple Well. It seems like there's a lot of over attribution on Facebook, but if we look at the purchases coming through Shopify, it wouldn't technically be an over attribution because a lot of purchases are just not being attributed to any sources here whatsoever, which usually for that client, you know, uh, Facebook is a very big driving force when it comes to sales. And again, as I mentioned earlier, we've seen exact sales that literally triple well says that they use the discount code that is only found within the ads, but that sale is not reported back to an ad. So there's still a little bit of work to be done here in terms of how fast their pixel can actually start to be accurate. That would be one of my main recommendations for their team is to ensure that, you know, if you are to get on their platform, then at least, you know, within a week, you start seeing great results and then you can sort of get things going. I understand there's a lot of learning to do in their AI for it to actually learn about your store. So that way it gets accurate. But something that I'll say that they're doing great is that at this moment of recording this video, they have a 90 day money back guarantee pretty much where if you don't think their product is accurate, if you don't like, you know, how it works, you basically get refunded for your three months. So it's still very great. They basically promise you that within three months, you should see better attribution and uh, you know better results overall with the platform if you're using the, the pixel. So if that's the case, then that's that's great. You know, that's uh, that, that's amazing. If, if it doesn't work out, then at least you don't lose anything. So that's something that I think is a great uh, offer that they have up and going right now. So we've used in the past as an agency platforms like Cometly, and I've also, you know, dabbled with Hyros. Cometly, honestly, I can't say that it was accurate whatsoever. You know, we've tried it. Um, it was very, very different than Facebook. There's nothing close to what Facebook reported. Uh, sometimes on Facebook, it was literally the complete opposite. So as an example, we were testing two campaigns, basically both the same campaign, one with the cost cap, one with the lowest cost, trying to see which one yielded the best result for a client. And it showed on Facebook the complete opposite than what was shown on Commonly. So Commonly said that, just throwing an example right here, that the cost cap was much better than what the uh, the uh, lowest cost was. And it was pretty much the opposite that was shown on Facebook. And then if we take a look at Hyros, I think Hyros is great, but Hyros actually what I, I would say is better quote unquote than Triple Well is that it's available for Pretty much any type of platform like it's available whatever you know pos pretty much you're on or if you're actually doing lead gen it still works whereas if you're on triple well you have to have a shopify store that's basically it i know they're also working on expanding to other platforms but it only works with shopify at this very moment so that's also something that i think is missing out of that platform as the time we're speaking but overall if you're any type of brand i definitely recommend that you get their dashboard if you are you know if you are spending at least i would say two to three thousand dollar a month on ads then i'd say it would be worth it for you to invest in the reporting tool because again you could have very different stats with the reporting tool that allows you to just optimize that much better your ads to increase you know conversions and overall profitability so that's pretty much it that pretty much concludes the video and if you're an e-commerce store owner or brand making at least 20 to thirty thousand dollar a month with your brand i invite you to click on the first link in the description down below and book in a very short 15 minute demo call with our team on that call we'll take a look at your brand and see if you're a good fit to work with the agency if you are then we'll be more than happy to help you scale up through paid ads if you aren't and worst comes to worst we'll send you on your way with a free action plan to implement on your own on that note make sure you check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips and i'll see you guys in next week's video peace